Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making an Adopt Me game on Scratch. <laughs> so, first we're gonna want to make a new sprite and delete this Casper. And then we're gonna make this sprite. We're gonna go into the costume and we're gonna make a large box in it. Like that. And we're, when, when we make this box, we're going to center it in the middle, so it fits the screen fine, so it is already centered. And then we're going to put 0, 0, and Y and X, oh, and Y and the X one, so it goes straight to the middle. So it just went straight to the middle, so now we're going to make this sprite bluish, a light blue, kind of. So once we find the right blue to put on the game, maybe this blue, this is the loading bar, okay so this is a great blue, so we're going to use this blue, and we're also going to make this thing a little bit bigger because you can see the black lines on the end, so you can just make this a little bit bigger and center it, so look at that, we have now a blue screen. So we are going to be doing, right now we're going to be doing the loading bar and the back screen of the loading bar. So, we're gonna make, we're gonna type here, we're gonna type loading in black, or white, no, white. We're gonna be type, we're gonna type here, loading variables. And then we're gonna put dot, dot, dot. Because this is the loading bar, and then we're going to center it in the middle. Don't forget to do that. And then we're going to duplicate this. And we're going we're to change this to loading content. Content. Dot, dot, dot. And then the last one, we're going to duplicate it again. And make it loading server. Da, da, da. So now we've got loading content, loading variables, and loading server. But where is the loading bar? So we're gonna have to do that. So let's just go and make a new sprite. And this is gonna be our loading bar. You're gonna wanna make a rectangle here. About that big. We're gonna put it right here under it. We want to make it a little bit nice, better than we should be. And then center it. And we want to put this probably right here. Yeah. And we probably want to put that right there. Because that's our loading bar. And then we're going to want to make this kind of bluish. Kind of, we're just going to make it a look like have a little darker blue in it, so we're gonna make it a little bit darker in this loading bar, so probably there to find. Now we got the loading bar, you can see it right here, and we're gonna, du we're gonna duplicate it, and it's, we're gonna make a little box right here, and we're gonna color it white. So now we made a little box here, and we colored it white. So this is this is just the loading bar of the game. So now what we're playing. Then we're gonna duplicate it again, make it a little bit bigger, duplicate it again, make it a little bit bigger again, duplicate it again. So just do this many times until you reach out. Okay, so at the end you want to leave a little slip there, so that means that it's all the way late. 
So, now we're gonna make, so I think we got this part good. So, we're gonna coat it now. One five clicked. Go to this position. And hide. Because it, he doesn't do anything. And then, same thing to this guy. One flag clicked. Go to the same position as you right now. But we're gonna do zero zero. So let's see that. Okay, so it hit him, and then it's gonna hide also. Or actually, no, it won't hide. But we want it to tell this sprite, the sprite one, that we need to come out and load. So we're not gonna put this height on. We're gonna put show on both. Show. Show. So now let's look at it. Okay. So now we're gonna do on this sprite, we're gonna do when flag clicked, we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do a repeat block. And then we're gonna be doing three three times. It's gonna do X costume. And it's we're gonna put seconds in it. So probably one second. And then we're gonna go here. And we're gonna get a fly click. Every we're gonna do another repeat block. This is gonna be a larger. And we have ten we have ten things. So we're just gonna do one time because we already have ten things. Or we could do ten times to make the code shorter. So then we just do uh, wait 0.3 seconds. Alright, that's good enough. And then we're gonna wanna probably wait point zero point three seconds and then we wanna sh we wanna make it switch the costume. So we're gonna make next costume. So let's see if this works. So as you can see it's working. But, we want to make this loading bar, um, go to the first part, and so does this, go to the first part, the first costume, when the flag clicked. So we're also going to do, we're going to be making these, we're going to go to the first costume, when it starts, because we don't want that, something bad to happen. So, costume one, and then same thing to this, costume one. So let's see, let's try that. Okay, as you can see, it's loading, so that's great. So, now we're going to be making the things that pop up, the Robux stuff, the Robux pets that pop up. So, we're going to go make it, we're going to make a new, and then we, and when it's done, we want it to hide. When this is done, we want it to hide so we can make the other things. So, hide, hide. But, we want it to show when the flag is clicked. So we're going to do show in here. So let's see if this works. Okay, so now everything hide fit. Now, the pets are supposed to pop up. So we're going to, the things that you're supposed to buy are like your four bucks. There's like two or three things. So we're going to do a paint. And we're going to do a box. Doesn't have to be that big because we can always make it bigger. And we're gonna color it grayish. Grayish. So we color it grayish. And then we're gonna make a pet on. So let's go to the search bar. Search up. Got me. Oh, Robux Pets. Go to images, and let's see if we can get one of these kitsunas. So, let's make, um, 
new Robux. So let's just do a kitchen in, adopt me. Adopt me kitchen in. And then let's get this photo. And we're gonna be touching on it. And we're gonna be doing save image as kitchen adventure. So let's save it. We just saved it. And let's go back. Get out of that tab. Go back. And we're gonna center this. See, it's kinda off. Kinda off. So now we center it. And we, we're gonna code this to only pop up when we're done. So we're gonna try to put the kitchen in by going here, upload sprite. So now we're gonna upload the sprite and it should be under downloads. Probably called Kitsune. So we found a Kitsune at that. Put it in. So now we got the Kitsune. We don't have to do anything to it. We can just put it on the sprite. But we're gonna have to copy it from here. So let's go to costumes. Let's go to vector. Let's go here, go here. And we're gonna copy this. Right here. We're gonna copy it right here. So we're gonna delete this. Come here, go to costumes, and paste it. And we're gonna resize it to make it a little bit smaller. Put it here. So um, we're also gonna have Robux in this game. Resize it. So we're gonna have to resize it again so go back. And resize it to a tiny bit more. And that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So I think that's pretty nice. So it's gonna say buy Kitsune for how much Robux? And you can push no thanks, or you can push yes or something. So we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. And we're gonna type on it. Buy Kitsune. And then we're gonna type another thing on it, how much Robux it is, and we can write probably 100 or 200. 200 R, that means Robux. And we're gonna make the 200 R a little bit bigger. So now we have a 200 R that's on it. And there's either gonna be a no thanks button. Or, um, yes, button. So those buttons are going to be separate with this. So, also there's a T here. Kitsuna. Makes more sense. And now we should make the buttons for this. And also we should code this. So first we're going to code it. We're going to say, when, the, when this is... When flag clicked, hide, go to this position and hide. Because we don't want this to show up when the loading bar is on it. So definitely not happening. So we're gonna make it so when this, this is gonna let out a signal and say to the the kitchen or anything that we're done and we want you to pop up. So we're gonna be making a broadcast message. So it's gonna go right here. Or right here. Broadcast missing new message. And it's gonna be show row box pets. So it's gonna be saying show row box pets. And then when this receives show row box pets, you want it to show. This to show when it receives it. So now we're gonna make the little buttons for this guy. So let's make the buttons. This is gonna be a no thanks button. We color it probably white. And then we're gonna do the outline a little bit better.
or red. We should color it red. Because it's like, no, I don't want it. So let's color it red. And then let's make a, a new button. And let's color it green. So let's just duplicate this guy and color it green. Lead straight to green. Probably a darker green would be good. So you can you can choose any color you want. I'm just teaching you guys how to do this. So that's basically it. And we're gonna go to here again, and then we're gonna, we're gonna center this. Uh, just turn the green. We're gonna center this thing so it goes in the middle, so it's better, it's easier to move it. And it's gonna say, no thanks. And white. Because it's a great color that matches with everyone. No thanks. So look, we got no thanks button. And right here, it's gonna, well, let's see if this is centered first. Nope, it's not centered. Right here, It's gonna say something different. It's gonna say yes. Get our thing. Make it white. Oh, that's gray. No, white. And we're gonna be like yes. Or buy. You can do buy. So let's zoom in. No thanks and bot. So that's a really good one. So right now it's looking good, but we don't the buttons don't work yet. So we're gonna do we're gonna fly clicked. Go to here. Hide. When I receive go to here again and then show and then when we go to here and I'm gonna click one flat clicked, go to this position and then hide. And then when I receive the come in or whatever, show world expects, not this one, this one. We're gonna show. I'm gonna do save position to. But if the sprites clicked, we're gonna broadcast a new message. No one. And when this receives no one, it's gonna hide. And when this receives no and then this is also gonna hide when it receives no one. And then when that receives no one, it's gonna hide. So let's see if our first part of the game works. Loading content, loading variable, loading server. So now this pops up and it works. If you like this game and you want part two for this video, subscribe and like this video.